My name is Jared. Um, I'm from the Diocese of Peoria, and I was asked to give a uh, reflection on uh, the readings for the first Sunday of Lent. Um, and so, upon reading with these and praying with them, I thought they were perfect uh, to have us reflect on the meaning of Lent and why does the church ask us to do what she does um, in this time. Uh, and so, in the beginning, as we read uh, from Genesis, um, we read of the sad reality of sin in our world um, and its destructive nature. And so we hear the fall of Eve and Adam and how it severs our relationship with God. Um, and so I thought this was a good starting place because Lent calls us to reflect on, on the reality of sin and on its destructive nature um, because it harms our relationship with God. Um, and we're actually called to detest sin as Christians. Um, and so that's the first step, I think, in Lent, is to acknowledge this, this fact. And so the first reading, I think, brings this to light for us. Um, but yet we read in the second reading, um, the letter of St. Paul to the Romans, we hear that death came to reign through that one man. So through one righteous act, acquittal and life came to all. So we hear that the reality of sin isn't the end of the story. Um, but the end of the story is actually actually victory in Jesus, who shed his blood for us and redeemed us in this free gift of, of redemption. And I think Lent prepares us to receive that free gift. That's what Lent is for, especially in the renewal of our baptismal promises at the end. And so that, that I think, is a perfect reflection for, for today is, is what are we doing for Lent? Why are we doing it? Why are we offering penances? Why are we um, entering into a, a mindset of repentance? Um, and I think it also, we also get another good example in the Gospel where we hear Jesus is led in, by the Spirit into the desert to be tempted by the devil and he fasted for 40 days and 40 nights. And so it's interesting that we model our Lent after the Savior himself who was led by the Spirit into the desert. And it says, afterwards he was hungry you don't say. <laughs> um, but um, I want to emphasize that he was led by the Spirit into the desert. Um, because it's, it's the Holy Spirit that urges us on to repentance. And it's also the Holy Spirit that accompanies us through the journey. And it's the Holy Spirit that we receive at the end of the journey. So the Holy Spirit accompanies us the entire time. And so we keep that in mind in, in hope we await uh, the coming of Jesus at the end. Um, so with the psalmist we might say, Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Um, and it's in this spirit of repentance and penance that, that we're able to fully receive uh, the gift of Christ that Christ wants to give us. Um, and so we, we keep that in mind this Lent as we go forth. Um, why, we're be, why we're called to do this and uh, who we are doing it for, for the love of God and to receive the saving um, power of Jesus Christ in our lives.